Looks like Skechers Shape Ups don't do everything they say they do because the brand is paying up for the false claims. Rep by Brooke Burke and Kim Kardashian, the shoes claim to tone your legs without ever hitting the gym, making quote, the bottom half their better half. But the Federal Trade Commission is racking in over $40 million from Skechers to settle the fact that their claims just aren't true. The money will be used to refund dissatisfied customers, which by the looks of it will be most people. But this isn't the first toning sneaker that has had to drop a pretty penny on its portrayal that sneakers will take the place of the gym. Reebok paid $25 million to appease the people that purchased their brand of toning sneaks. But Skechers was the leading brand in these type of shoes with shape ups, resistance runners, toners, and tone ups, all of which were said to do the same thing. The director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection even said that the shoes caused some to gain weight and that the studies that were done on the shoe were most definitely rigged. But who wouldn't have believed the brand with hot-bodied Kim Kardashian and Brooke Burke leading the way with their Super Bowl commercials and advertisements? In fact, Skechers still believes that their magical sneakers do the job. According to TMZ, they're not done yet. The brand reportedly is still going to put up a fight to prove that their toning shoes do work. So let me know in the comments what you think and click that subscribe button for more fashion drama right here on Clever Style.